be seated. And we'll take our Bibles and we'll go to the book of Ephesians tonight. Been in the Old Testament these last couple of days. And now we'll go to the New Testament. I also agree with Pastor that God also leads the song service, the testimony time, yes. all of that. And uh, just now, we were singing, but we were also praying. That's right. We're saying those words directly to Him. I love you, Lord. Thank you for the cross of Calvary. And uh, this, this song that it's still the cross, it was written by an evangelist back in 2015. And uh, Megan had this the verse where it says, The Lord of life demands my death to live for Him with every breath. I read a book, I think it was last year, uh, Outsiders, that Pastor Paul Chappell compiled of different Christians that gave their life, uh, you know, burned at the stake. Yeah. Uh, and it was a challenging book, and one of the things that I came away with was that they were already dead before they went to the stake. Yeah. They'd already given their life. That's it. And, uh, and God, God has for us to do the same thing. The Lord of life demands my death, death to self. Death to our rights, our, uh, all of that, to live for Him with every breath. So, oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, thankful for the cross of Christ. We'll talk a Amen. little bit about that tonight. But we're in Ephesians chapter 4. I love the book of Ephesians. I love Ephesians chapter 4. Part of it is because of verse 11. It says, And He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists. I like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And some pastors and teachers. Now, uh, apostles and prophets, those were foundational gifts. Uh, those.